it was Christmas time, and I got one of those jobs where you sell toys in Macy's for a concessionaire. You didn't work for Macy's. You were working for a man who brought in his business for Christmas, and they hired out-of-work actors. I was selling Freddy the Jumping Frog, and there was a long speech that went with that. I just hated it, and this man came around and said, uh, up your dollar volume, and naturally I said, up yours. And he fired me and paid me off. He wrote a check with a stub of a pencil. I said, is this check good? I said, how dare you question my check? Well, I went down to Thompson Street to my apartment and paid my rent with that check, and it bounced. And the day that I went downstairs to get it out of the mailbox, I was still wearing my navy raincoat and my navy pants. And I saw that the check had bounced, but the landlord had returned it. And I, right there, no hat, I went to Macy's to kill this man. I really wanted to kill him. And I got on the subway, and it went right to 34th Street, and there was the escalator, it took me up to his floor, and there he was. And I grabbed him by the throat. I was furious, you know. You can tell I'm not a killer, naturally a killer. And, and he, he couldn't talk because I had him in the throat, and he began throwing 20s out of his pockets, like throwing 20s on the floor. And you so were picking them up? I was scooping them up, and, and I left, and I began walking in the rain, in the snow, in the sleet, just walking. I didn't know where I was going, and I wound up at Talent Associates, and they said, oh, here you are. I said, yeah. They said, we've been calling you all day. And uh, I said, what's up? They said, well, get in that room. We're doing a show about a school teacher. I said, well, uh, wait a minute, do I wear my, clo my clothes or your clothes? Because if you wore your own clothes, you got $20 more. He said, we don't care what you're wearing. See if you can write this show with that man. We'll give you two weeks. That was Jim Fritzell, and that two weeks lasted 30 years. When I arrived, David Swift had had a terrible fight with Fred Coe, and David Swift had married Maggie McNamara right off the stage in Chicago, The Moon is Blue, and they went to Italy. So there was Jim with five guys writing first drafts that he was supposed to rewrite, and he was having a terrible time. So we rewrote two. The third week, nothing came in. So he said, oh, think, think of something. He said, think of Buffalo, think of Buffalo, something in school. I said, it snowed, snows so badly, we can't go to school. So he said, so the teachers will teach on television. We wrote it in about two hours. It was a tremendous hit. And Fred Coe said, all right. Pappy, everybody's Pappy. From now on, you two write them all. And I got $50 a week the first two weeks, and I started getting $100. And I never got more than $500 a week. I, you know, there was no money in those days. The whole budget the first year was $18,000 a week. 18000 for the whole show? For the whole show, which I told someone is, uh, is the electrician's uh, boutonniere allowance on <laughs> Seinfeld. 